Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. Oh my God. I hate it when I forget that it's a holiday. Like Monday holidays always trip me up. So it's Memorial Day. I totally forgot. So that means like I based my morning on having to run my errand and pick up the socialist school lunches and then like only to realize it's fucking Memorial Day and I didn't need to keep waiting to do that. Cause I was like, I don't want to start my podcast and then have to quit and, and take a break. I was like, I'll just wait till after the errand. <laughs> uh, you just got punked, Sadie. There is no errand today. So anyways, happy Memorial Day. Uh, last week I ended by saying that I wasn't going to be a bitch anymore. <laughs> We're only going to manifest positive things. We're only going to have positive thoughts. Oh, well, sometimes it's hard to flip from one end of the stick to the other. So we got a little work to do and it's okay. It's cool. You know why? Because our herb of the week is comfrey and there's nothing quite like bone knit to help us put us back together. It's all about repair. And what's funny is um, I pulled a magic, I, I'm collecting our five, we got five cards. That doesn't sound like a lot, but they're all intense. So get comfortable, make some tea. Um, and our first card is repair. And I was like, oh, what do we need to repair? And then I pulled out the herbal tarot card and it's the world. And I was like, uh, duh. Yeah, we do need to repair the world. And what needs mending? Well, probably us, you know, it's what, I mean, you can't just fix the world without fixing all the individual parts. So that is why I do my work. Like sometimes I think, wow, your existence is pretty pointless, <laughs> but at least you're doing your inner work. Um, but it's, you know, we gotta, we gotta, 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 gotta just keep on doing our work, repairing ourselves, doing our best to heal. Um, Comfrey, there's another card we're doing today from the Plant Spirit Oracle. It's all about resources and personal power and wealth, which will be interesting to me because, you know, I just went down in my basement and literally my basement is maybe one of the most disgusting basements ever had. I mean, it's not even a basement. It's like a cellar. Um, it's st it stank. It's, it's all, I mean, it is just gross. There's water leaking everywhere. Like, the, it, you can't even fix it, really. Not that I know of. Maybe somebody could fix it, but not me. So anyways, I was just sort of thinking about, you know, I went to several picnics this week, and they're all in beautiful homes, gorgeous homes. And it's like, kind of like, I have to really like, you know, talk to myself a little bit about this. Like, how come you ain't manifesting good stuff? You know, like, am I just too focused on my inner journey to really care about the outer experience? Like, that might be, but, like, like I really, like, sometimes my ego's like, you could maybe be doing better. <laughs> so, anyways, happy Monday. Um... We're not taking a break, even though it is a, quote, holiday that... Apparently, it's like, happy Memorial Day. Sorry, kids, you don't get any food today. Which, my kids aren't even here, so it's not a big deal. They're at their dad's house. But, like, I'm thinking about the local, other local kids that are, that are, are less, are less fortunate than me. Do you know what I mean? Like, they might actually have been looking forward to today's lunch. So, that really sucks. But, anyways, um, oh, well. Ten of Fire is also here with us. And then, yeah, this beautiful card that says, What Needs Mending um, with some really purple violet, indigo violet, purple butterflies, moths. So it's Monday. I totally got over socialized at my family's house with the picnic. I was like, Oh my God, I came home last night and 
the best I could do was just go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I'm laughing because I there was I'm like, is there any cannabis left in that bowl? And is there any kava left in that tea in that I have one less I had one last um, bag of stress relief with kava in it and that stuff really hits me pretty good. So the combo of that I, I fell asleep with the curtains and the windows open. You know, you know I sleepy. You know I was sleepy if I slept with the curtains open. But it was nice to like wake up to the curtains open. So anyways, that was kind of fun. So anyways, we're hanging out with Comfrey. Uh, my Comfrey plant's ginormous. My neighbor has already whacked his down once and put it in the compost. Um, it is really prolific already this year. Um, you can drink Comfrey tea they'll they'll tell you not to but you can I don't drink it that often it's usually mostly used as a poultice on top of the skin but I'm like almost at that point in my old ladyness that I might just start drinking it and see how I feel like I I don't really you know a little alkaloids I think my liver can handle it like I really 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 am tired of just half-assing it physically so I feel like part of Comfrey and that personal power message that we're gonna talk about today might be that strength. I want all my joints to feel good. I want my back to feel good. Um, yeah, I need Comfrey to repair me. And you know what else I'm seeing right away before I even get into these cards? I am seeing a dark green bath and just soaking in some Comfrey juicing it up in the blender and then pouring it like through a strainer. I don't want it gritty, but I want it green. I don't want it gritty, uh, but I want it green. <laughs> I think I need to make my musical debut soon. I don't want it gritty, uh, I just want it green. <laughs> so anyways, that's it. Um, we're gonna hang out tomorrow, do some tarot. Wednesday, we'll manifest some more good stuff. This week, we're gonna manifest generosity so I think that'll be cool I think it's going to be a great week and I'm happy to hang out with you again yesterday we hung out with Archangel Azriel, um which was awesome so just want to invite you to listen to that and um I guess that's it it's just like a, a Monday that I'm going to do the dishes and clean up a bit do some laundry Enjoy the quiet. Record the Parsley podcast for Herbal Marie. That's all my, I got my notes done. Instead of going to another picnic on Saturday, I decided to stay home and work on my podcast. Got it, got it done. So now I just have to record it. So good job, Sadie. And um, yeah, that's it. I don't have any other news to report really. Good, good. All right, let's make some tea and switch the laundry and learn about our beautiful herb of the week, comfrey. All right, well, I think my dryer just died. <laughs> okay, I'm, I really am like, I am, this is what has always pissed me off about my life. I am more than happy to clean. I'm more than happy to do laundry. I'm more than happy to make a, be a home, a beautiful home, but yet I'm like not given the resources to even do that. Okay, fine. Who needs to do laundry? I got, and here's the thing, I don't even have a clothesline right now. So I'd have to like drive into town to buy some fucking rope to hang out like 1,000 pee pee cloths, right? All our reuse, and we like to use reusable towels. So it's like in reusable toilet paper and reusable cloth wipes and reusable washcloths and like, I have a lot of laundry to do. Oh, but the dryer is unresponsive. So I will try it again here in a little bit, but it's not even doing anything. It's an it's so old. It's so old. When my mom got me that new washer, and I was so thankful for that, I was like, and we we really should have gotten both, but you know. Beggars can't be choosers, especially when people are being generous. Just take what you're given, bitch. All right. Anyways, so much for me being an excellent manifester. Like, I don't even feel like telling anybody about my dryer in my real life. I mean, I just told you. But I mean, people like that could be 
buy me a new one. I'm just tired of handouts. I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of n not making my own money. I'm just kind of like tired of life right in this moment. So anyways, gonna have to repair that. <laughs> Maybe the dryer. I don't wanna call anybody to repair the dryer. The old lover that I'm trying to avoid, he, he would look at it. I don't want, I don't want I just, I don't even want to tell anybody about the, my fucking dryer. Like, I'll just go buy some clothesline and and hang up my clothes. All through the house, even. I should actually get an indoor, indoor dry thing because there's so many birds out in the yard. You, like, as soon as I hang up something, a bird flies by and poops on it. All right. So, anyways, it's Monday. We're going to talk about comfrey. We're going to talk about repair. Our first card is from Magical Herb or Oracle, Enchanting Secrets from the Garden. Number 34, 3 plus 4 is 7. So repair my life path, number 7. <laughs> How was your weekend? How's your Monday? Um, Comfrey, this is a time of bringing together more than one element to seek improvement. You might not have all the pieces, resources, or information you require at the moment, so keep looking, exploring, and collecting. If you take more notice of the past and the lessons shown to you, then success and a breakthrough, breakthrough would come a little more quickly. So Sadie Marie, if you could just take notice of the past and the lessons shown to you, then then success and a breakthrough could come a little more quickly. Now, does 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 this bother you like it bothers me? Now, of all the people you know in your life, where do I rank as far as doing the inner work, looking for answers, seeking the lesson, trying to figure out how the fuck this universe works so I can manipulate my way through this disgusting reality. <laughs> like, I get it. I get it. I get it. Of all people, aren't I kind of getting it? But yet, apparently, there's still something that I'm not getting. And obviously, it's my attitude. Obviously. But you know what? I am like sick of everything and I want to enjoy everything but at the same time I'm sick of everything. It's just, it's really weird. Now will come the completion of a project or a situation and the end of a cycle. <clears throat> if you want to start something new or change in any way, you should be able to shortly. You are free to go in any direction you please. So the other thing that's getting me down is like this is the week that I'm supposed to buy a vehicle and I hate it. I hate looking for them. I hate, like, I just want someone to show up and be like, Sadie, this is your new vehicle. Sadie, here's your vehicle and here's your dryer. I'm like, okay, thanks. <laughs> lazy. Is it my, is my, is, am I lazy then? Is that what's going on? All right. The European native, let's talk about Comfrey. Let's talk about Comfrey. My neighbor's gonna rev his un engine too. Let's talk. Let's talk about Comfrey. Close the window. Forget about the world for a second, and just think about Comfrey. He, it's an herbaceous perennial plant with very large lance-like leaves that grows in clusters up to a height of like 12 inches or 20 centimeters. The flowers are usually yellow, but sometimes blue and have a bell-shaped appearance. Sometimes they're like purplish too. The roots are very similar to turnip roots and are black outside and white within. Disclaim, disclaim, disclaim out the wazoo. Comfrey leaves and foxglove leaves could be mistaken for each other. And foxglove will kill ya. So, you can use comfrey in your magic for prosperity, money, healing, protection, and safe travel. See, I should like go drink some comfrey, right? For all my things I gotta mend this week and the fact that I, I need to buy a vehicle and yada, yada, yada. 
The deities are Cronus, Saturn, Chiron. The planets are Saturn and the Sun. The signs are Capricorn and Aquarius, and the water is, and the element is water. So yeah, we got some water in uh, the world card. Very interesting. So I have comfrey growing in three different places and it does well in all three places. I have it growing in very moist, shaded soil. I have it growing under pear trees and I have it growing on the sunny, hot, dry side of the garage. And it's like, it does well all three places and they're all different climates for my yard. So it really will grow everywhere it comes back. If you, I've heard of stories of like people accidentally tilling up their garden and chunks of comfrey root, what, wherever a chunk of comfrey root will go, a new plant will grow. So, you know, they thought, oh, I'll just till that comfrey under, get rid of it. No, they created a whole field of comfrey um, like, so the root, it proliferates by the root. I don't even think comfrey has seeds. Like, I think it's a seedless plant, actually. Um, placing comfrey in your luggage will protect against theft. So there is a comfrey repair spell. You can wear some comfrey and a sachet for safe travel, especially in cars. Oh my gosh, like... You should like, maybe we should hang a little sachet of comfrey in, in our dash for safe travel. Place it with money, with a, a money set for gambling purposes for luck and to ensure you at least break even. Bathing in comfrey after performing rituals and spells will help cleanse and release. So, I like that idea. And you know, I pump my water out my window because I can't use the drain here at the house. So I'll be pumping out green ass comfrey water on the roof, but that's fine. Like at, I'm just at the point where like, I don't want any more stuff in this house. I don't want to decorate it. I don't, I like, I, there's not even improving the look of this house. I'd rather it just be empty and I'm just, I'm just seeking shelter here. I'm thankful for the shelter. But really this house is so dysfunctional and now I don't even have a dryer to wash, to dry my wash clothes. I can wash my clothes and pump that water out another window <laughs> illegally, but then no fluffy towels for this lady. We will be ha having hard crunchy underwear. Great. I love, I love air drying. Okay. Um, this, this spell will help repair something that has been broken or drifted apart by bringing the pieces together and binding them. So do you want to hear the spell? I should probably do the spell. You know, like my one cousin yesterday is like, how's your podcast going? Like, it's going great. Like Herbal Marie has over 32,000 plays, right? Got two to 300 people listening to every podcast. If those two to 300 people could give a dollar to my patron account, like, do they not realize that the podcast they love, they're their host is like living in third world conditions. I don't want to say it's that bad because I know life can definitely be worse. But this house is like rotting. And and I have to buy a car and now I have to buy a dryer. And I need to buy a dog leash. And I need I need this. I need that. Like and then at the same time I'm like I don't need anything but you know, like I keep on trying to maintain like quality of life here and like I, I could use some more money, more wealth. Now I have friends who are so, so wealthy and I love their space and I love being invited over and it's like such a breath of fresh air to be in such beauty and like, like just, oh my gosh, glorious. A, a glorious houses and I love it so much and I just feel like I could be comfortable there but yet why don't I manifest just my basic needs very well like I just need to manifest basic shit you know they're like creating like incredible uh, interior design and, and stuff and I just like need a fucking dryer now apparently so anyways I like hate life right this second I do. If I'm being honest with you, I hate life. 
but yet I love life, but yet I hate life. It's like, Tim, I love him, but I hate him, but I love him. So that's how I feel about life. <laughs> Tim, I am totally timing my life right now. All right. Pull yourself together, right? Do a comfrey repair spell. So if you want to do a comfrey repair spell, you grab two small symbolic items, a pen and a small piece of paper, two small fabric bags, two teaspoons of dry comfrey, and about 12 inches or 30 centimeters of black ribbon. Now you ensure the two small items symbolize in some way the two areas or pieces of something that needs to be repaired. <laughs> So I'm gonna get like my little Monopoly car, little metal car and and uh, <laughs> a little dryer. I don't know, a little, little, I need, what, <laughs> I was seeing a little penis or something. I need to repair my, my financial life, my vehicular life and my love life. Oh my God. Draw an image on the paper that describes your situation and rip it in half. So for me, I would just take the pen and scribble into the paper as hard as I can, rip it in half, <laughs> add an item in, in one of the paper halves to each of the fabric bags and in each a teaspoon of the dried comfrey. Then we're gonna put the bags together and start winding the black ribbon around the bags to bind them together and say, Apart you have been, but together you shall be. Apart you have been, but together you shall be. Apart you have been, but together you shall be. You say that three times and place your bundle in a window that catches the sunlight. And there is your repair spell. So anyways, I apologize for my life and here's why. Because it's like, I like to talk about manifestation, energy, creating the reality that we desire. And in my mind, intellectually, energetically, it like feels so good, it makes sense. But then I am not demonstrating it. So that to me is like, like makes me either, it makes me feel like an F, either like a failure or a fraud or a fuck up. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, how can I keep talking about manifestations, law of attraction, the universe, healing, manifesting good stuff when, like, I don't really actually have that going on in my life? I can't use myself as an, an, an example. Like, I would really love to be like, hey, you can repair all of your life and live this glorious life because, look, I am... So that is definitely my discontent. Like how many years can one person um, study the laws of the universe, do law of attraction, clean up her energy, do her shadow clearing work, maintain her frequency, raise in vibration best she can, and yet she's still dealing with that like uh, half a deck. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I'm still like, always given hands that are like the shittiest and like good luck make the best of it okay fine I will continue to do that because I'm so good at it <laughs> but but still like when can I use myself as a an example of success so I'm not I'm not being overly negative right this second actually I'm just being like hey universe um when can I when can I use myself as an example that all of these things work? And I'm being told and shown right away that I do have, I have happiness, I have coping skills, I have strength, I could have a little more vitality, but I'm doing pretty good compared to the rest of the world. I have my health, I have my humor, right? Like I am doing good, but I'm just saying I could be doing gooder, okay? So, We'll see what else maybe Comfrey can help us with. And I'm gonna maybe go have a smoke. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's take another break. 
All right, well, guess whose dryer is working now? Okay, so I'm like, maybe I'll just go down and try it one more time. Because, like, sometimes mechanical stuff, if you just, like, leave it alone and come back, it'll, like, work again. And my dryer is working now, so never mind. <laughs> but I, de I definitely think it's giving me signs that it's on the, on the brink. So, anyways, my dryer's working. It, now it's moving. Now it's going around the circle. Now it's doing what a dryer does. So it's funny, it's like, oh, okay, I guess I should be thankful now. My dryer is working, but my JB is like, oh, so annoyed, even with the working dryer. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's go to the illustrated herbiary and look at something beautiful. This comfrey card is definitely beautiful. <clears throat> There's like, as above, so below. Um, I want to call them moths. They seem more like moths to me than butterflies, but they're like purple. Oh, and then part of their wings are broken off on the, the edges. The edges are so tattered. I feel you. Um, there's a beautiful emerald light, light colored green jade. Sorry, not even emerald. Um jade colored chrysalis in the middle of this like it looks like a picture frame that's like in a triangle position there's comfrey all around it on the sides so it's a gorgeous illustration the illustrator of these kate o'hara she's awesome all right so comfrey what needs mending Comfrey loves to mend skin, bones, soil. There's so much to do. She dives deep, magicking molecules, rebuilding broken chains, restacking cells into tissue and tissue into muscle. This is, this is joyous work for Comfrey. So she tends to work quickly, sometimes too quickly. Her boldness can border on recklessness, and in her mad scientist exuberance, she can get ahead of herself and forget first steps. Comfrey is a reminder for us to work systematically, starting with the deepest layers and working your way out. Even creative endeavors need to be built on a solid foundation. If comfrey appears, ask what needs mending and then pause to access and plan before diving in. So comfrey wants us to just take a minute here and ask what needs mending. What needs mending? So in this book, it's an awesome book. Each herb has a ritual and a reflection that you can do. And the ritual for comfrey is called breaking apart. And the reflection is dissolution. So breaking apart, let's talk about this ritual. The flip side of mending is breaking. We're trained to appear strong and often feel guilt or shame when we break. But unmaking is as much a part of the cycle as making. So sometimes we have to unmake before we can make. And breaking can be incredibly liberating. If you've swung a sledgehammer during a home renovation project, you know this is true. <laughs> Cause I just, I don't know. I'm not a home builder at all. I could be a home appreciator and a home lover, but it would need to be already made for me. <laughs> um, yeah. And I don't really like making messes. Okay. I'm just definitely disagreeable today, but anyways, here's the ritual. If, if you like to break shit and I do, I have in my rage thrown things, but then once I realized I was the one who had to clean it up, 
Um, you know, I kind of knock that off too a little bit. So here's something you can do though. Find something you can you can safely smash, hurl, stomp on, or pummel. Just and she says, do it. Allow yourself to scream or at least grunt loudly. Nothing like that in your house. Beat up your bed with a pillow. So if you do feel the need to lash out, act out, break something, smash something, comfrey saying, go ahead and do it. Go ahead, do it. Beat up your pillow. Um, I'm past that in my life, but that totally, totally was me for a long time. Oh, I kicked things, I broke things, I smashed things, I threw shit up against the wall. Like, not actual shit, like fucking something that would break. <laughs> uh, I've thrown things at the wall besides people who had it coming to them. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I've totally had a temper. Um, but then, like, I've had many times where, like, I decided to kick something because I was pissed, and then, hello, it kicked me back, and I hurt myself, and I was finally like, all right, I'm done with this. So, I don't really need to smash things anymore. Like, my art, my life is, is smashing itself <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so, but, you know, sometimes maybe you do need to scream and break something, and especially if it's, like, maybe, I mean... Sometimes I feel like I could rage and go in my garage with all the stuff that my ex-husband has still has in there and just start destroying stuff. But guess what? Then I'm going to be the one who has to clean it up. So this doesn't really work for me. But, you know, if, if it calls to you, go ahead. So far, I haven't liked any of the spells or rituals. Here we go. Comfrey also says, what you're going for is the moment when your mind stops chattering and you simply release. So if you need a materialistic, violent m release, go for it. It is, it is better to beat up your bed with a pillow than beat up somebody's face with your fist. So, hey, go ahead. If you feel like you need to smash, hurl, stomp on, or pummel something, do it. Do it safely. Allow yourself to scream and break apart. But I, personally, I'm past that shit. So anyways, moving on, this solution says, this is the reflection, it's easier to break something than it is to repair it. And yet there's a rare release in breaking in dissolution that we seldom let ourselves feel. Think of the caterpillar that turns its DNA soup. It turns into DNA soup during its time in the cocoon so it can emerge as a butterfly. Yeah, that whole process still like makes me go, what? Like when you really think about like what is happening in that cocoon doesn't it make you go what it literally completely breaks down and then turns forms into something completely different <laughs> like what <laughs> so here's some three questions for reflection what if you knew without a doubt that you could break and be remade what if you knew without a doubt you could break and be remade like if you could just melt into your own puddle of DNA soup and like be put back together somehow differently. What if you could find joy in breaking? Yeah, I need to just go crazy and find joy in my life. Um, what possibilities might this open up in you? What possibilities might this open up in you if you could find joy in your breaking or just know that like you really can break down totally and be rebuilt in some new way. So to finish off this card, it's a beautiful card. Um, it really is. And there is a lot of peace and comfort in these two colors together. It's really pretty. So Martha Beck said, when real metamorphosis has begun, we run in, into a welter of dissolving experiences. We may feel that everything is falling apart, that we're losing everyone and everything. Dissolving feels like death because it is. It's the demise of the person you've been. 
So yeah, Martha, I can relate to this. Okay, finally. <laughs> yeah, like I totally do feel like all parts of me have to die. Maybe that's why like I'm not even afraid of death anymore. Like I'm like, am I gonna die this next year? Like literally, because it seems like all parts of me are, are getting a head start on that. So we'll see. Um, we may feel like everything is falling apart, that we're losing everyone and everything, and it feels like death because it is. It's the demise of the person you've been. It's the demise of the person you've been. So yeah, if you wanna dissolve and be rebuilt into something new and different, you have to let go of who you've been. So there we go. I was just staring at the notebook and I was like, should I try to like start making some of these affirmations for comfrey? And I was like, no, not yet. Don't do it yet. Cause like I could really have like the nastiest affirmations. <laughs> so I gotta get into a better mood. Um, so I'm gonna make myself some black tea with some honey um, connected with a little wild lettuce. I mean, what can you do? What can you do other than try to feel good wherever you're at regardless of what's going on so I guess if you do live in a shithole with where nothing works right you could still make yourself some cheap ass black tea smoke a little wild lettuce that you picked in the backyard and just enjoy the day what can you do other than that today I don't know I should probably go grocery shopping <laughs> Oh God, moving on. Are you ready to go into the fire with me? The 10 of fire. This is the comfrey card from the Herb Crafters Tarot. Now I definitely have never pulled this card before because I don't, I don't recall this, this scene at all. There's, there's hanging comfrey that looks like maybe they're going to hang it to dry it. Um, there's some comfrey in a basket. It looks like there's a double broiler with some beeswax dripping off the side of it. Yeah, they're making comfrey salve here. There's little tins, there's containers, there's oil. Uh, really busy kitchen. There's a shelf in the background just, oh my God, just clusterfucked full of jars and, and containers of herbs and medicines. So comfrey, ten of fire. Let's see what the tens are all about. In the in this deck, the tens are all about herbs that are used as composting plants and cover crops, grown for their ability to nourish and restore soil. They are the healers of the earth. These plants are deeply rooting, accumulating nutrients in the dirt as they grow. And then yeah, the above ground parts are cut and strewn over garden beds or made into compost teas. As the stems and leaves break down, the vitamins and minerals they contain are absorbed again into the earth, creating a rich environment where other plants can thrive. So, dang. So, the tens are all cards of transition. The tens offer the herb crafter a chance to stop and refill her emotional and spiritual basket before she begins another turn on the wheel. The earth and her spirit have given what they can. It is time to allow the soil to restore itself and for the herb crafter to replenish herself. So yeah, time to replenish ourselves. And then yeah, after the letting the earth rest, we circle back to the aces. The weeds are usually the first to grow. The tens reflect on past accomplishments while anticipating future growth. So we can see why Comfrey is in the group of tens. Um, and this is a ten of fire. There can be too much of a good thing, is what Comfrey is saying. Stop, step away, soothe yourself, cut it down, and it roars back to life. So yeah, I mean, if you feel like you are in a personal death, a personal dissolution, like literally you're breaking apart, Good, good, cut it down and it roars back to life. Good, cut it the whole the fuck way down to the ground. Just whack it off and give yourself a rest. I mean, sometimes that is the best thing to do. You can't, you can't do that with all plants, but you can do that with comfrey. 
You can literally whack it the whole way down, all of it off, and it will come back roaring. So when we look at this card, there's piles of comfrey that fill a basket on a crafting table. Like I said, there's leaves hanging above the stove to dry. The counter is scattered with jars and beeswax. Oil drips onto the wooden surface. The bulging apothecary spills over with medicine and has little room for any more. Yeah, it's like clean, organized. That's me in my cupboards. Like I was actually thinking today at some point I need to take out like everything of the kitchen cupboards. I mean, take it all out, make this big, hairy, scary mess and try to put it back in right and maybe get rid of like, again, half of the things I own. Like I just keep on getting rid of, getting rid of, getting rid of, like, like I just like hate stuff. I just literally hate having too much stuff. Um, it's good to have what you need, of course, but like clutter, I just can't hardly take it anymore. I don't, I don't like it. So peace follows overwhelm. You may be overextended. The shelves in this room are full, yet the crafting continues. Rest and replenish so your experiences can take root. Refresh your love of creating by releasing some self-imposed responsibilities. Come free. Quickly becomes burdensome and difficult to manage, but it will regenerate after harsh cutting. Even a small amount can quickly flourish into a new plant. So Comfrey is telling us to commit to just a few tasks and set the rest aside. Pushing too hard will lead to waste and exhaustion. Do not be afraid to give away some of your creative ideas. When you harvest too much, let what you cannot use feed the soil for next season's growth. So yeah, I mean, if you got a lot of comfrey, I mean, give it back to the earth. You really don't need it all. You really don't. It, it gives you way more than you need. That's how a lot of herbs are. I mean, I got mugwort. I got way more mugwort than I need. Way more comfrey than I need. Way more Jerusalem artichokes that I need. Like, I got a lot of, a lot, a lot of. So don't be afraid to whack it down and let it roar back to life. And do the same for your own life. Don't be afraid to minimize, minimize, minimize so that you can stop step away and soothe yourself. So crafting with the Ten of Fire with Comfrey, write down what you need to release, roll it tightly in a Comfrey leaf, and burn the leaf when it is dry. Oh my God, I love that. Okay, I love that spell because you could take your piece of paper, write down what you need to release, let it dry, and then have yourself a little fire and, um, and yeah, burn it, <laughs> burn it. Oh my gosh, it was like, what's that little pile of comfrey leaves all rolled up? I'm like, <laughs> let's start the fire. I need to release some more stuff. Okay, but it is a good idea to have comfrey salve on hand. It's good for burns and bruises and injuries. Each time you use the salve, let it be an invitation to rest and soothe your overworked spirit. So that is totally why I was seeing a, me soaking in a dark green water bath and just letting my skin heal up. <laughs> Maybe thicken up my... Oh, it'll make you dark looking, I should warn you. It'll stain your skin a little bit. It'll look like a green witch. It'll make your skin kind of greenish, but it's temporary. But like, if you don't have to go anywhere, what? who cares anyways? <laughs> And if you already look like a witch, who cares anyways? Like, finally, my skin will match my hair. <laughs> yeah, because I've, like, rubbed it on my face, and it makes me look like that dark green brown. Very olive, which I'm already, I already kind of have sort of olive skin anyways. So it matches me. But I should, I guess, mention it to you in case you're, like, very fair-skinned or blonde hair. I don't know what comfrey does to blonde hair. <laughs> so <laughs> disclaim out the wazoo. Um, you know, just want to mention, I don't, I don't actually know. So use comfrey in magical practice or in 
on altar, on an altar or in spells to inspire you to come back to life. So yeah, I think I might try to get some sunshine today and then I uh, got a lot of fresh comfrey. I'm using fresh comfrey and I'm going to blend it up and take a bath in it and really see like if I can use this um, time today to help repair myself, dissolve if I have to, break down if I have to, but basically um, and get myself inspired to come back to life. Even if it is just really just barely getting by life. I mean, I need, I, I've logged out of Facebook on all my devices, I think, almost. And um, I'm, a, I'm just taking a fucking break. So I just cannot, I can't deal with people anymore. I can't give to anybody anymore for a while. Like, I just need to chill out. So Comfrey's saying, that's fine. Why don't you just whack yourself down to the soil, dissolve, give your old self to the earth, and see what can regrow in its place. You're gonna, you're gonna, you, you might like what's happening. All right, so our next card, we got two cards left. Okay, the next card is gorgeous. It's the Comfrey card by the Plant Spirit Oracle by Dana O'Driscoll. This card is the reason I bought the deck. Because I like saw her artwork. <laughs> I saved it and used it as my, my lock screen on my laptop. It's this beautiful comfrey plant with three hummingbirds coming to the flowers. And underneath the soil, it goes from left to right, the colors of the chakras. So it's like rainbow soil. Yeah, it's, a, it's gorgeous. And th that was the card that I was like, I think I have to have this deck. Like, I think I must own it. And this has a message about resources, personal power, and wealth. So let us get to know our herb of the week, comfrey, a little bit more. Um, comfrey is one of the most well-known medic medicinal plants on the planet. It's well-loved and respected by herbalists. She is known by other names, indictative, indictative. She's known by other names that signal her healing power, including knit bone, bone set, and mending plant. So there actually is another herb called bone set. So that's a little confusing. So, but knit bone, mending plant, comfrey. This is because of her many uses for mending bones, healing serious wounds, and healing the body inside and out. Comfrey also is a wonderful plant for gardens and growing under trees. She is what is known as a dynamic accumulator meaning that her deep tap roots can pull up nutrients and make them available to the other plants. She also is a summer long producer of nectar for insects and birds. In the card, we can see the hummingbirds feasting on her nectar while, while her roots hold the power of the planets. So actually those are the symbols of the planets in those little circles, I see that now. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Good, they included Pluto, as they fucking should. All right, divination, resources. Comfrey is a card about resources. In the Comfrey card, we see not only abundance being offered to the hummingbirds, but resources tied to the planets and signs and the roots. Resources may mean many things finances, space, people, skills, and more. If you are lacking in resources, this card is a sign that the needed resources are on their way. If you have resources already, this card suggests the need to leverage them appropriately. So that's hopeful. This card can also talk about your wealth Comfrey is an abundant plant, which can be reflected in the second meaning of this card, wealth. Typically, this card represents physical wealth and being comfortable, having what you need. If you currently do not have wealth, this card may indicate that wealth is on its way. Just a side note, I've never pulled this card in a reading. <laughs> Um, 
Um, otherwise, this card suggests that you are in a comfortable situation in terms of having wealth and your physical needs met. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I love this card, but when I shuffle for and pull cards for myself, I've never pulled this card. <laughs> so, there is a... On the card, it says personal power, but in the book, it says personal action. So, anyways... There's kind of a combo message there. The Comfrey card is also about personal action, personal power. Leveraging the power of the planets and astrology, Comfrey suggests that you have to act in order to get what you want to happen. And gain in wealth, resources, and so on. You must push forward. You must, you must act. The situation at hand demands you're stepping up to lead the charge, not waiting on others to do it for you. So that is a good personal message for me. Yeah, no one's going to drop off a car this week. I have to go find it and hand them my money. Um, you know, I know that. I know that. So anyways, but yeah, you got to do it. You can't wait for somebody else to do it for you. Got to wipe your own butt, Sadie. Nobody, ain't nobody going to do that for you. So, as many of Comfrey's names suggest, she is a wonderful plant for mending and healing. So, let's talk about the herbalism perspective of Comfrey for a minute. Our incredible, fucking incredible herb of the week. Now, there is a great deal of debate within the herbalism community about the safety of using Comfrey internally. So, Dana suggests that you keep Comfrey for external applications. Comfrey is a first-rate wound-closing plant. She helps heal the skin, and she helps wounds close quickly. Thus, she is best used on clean wounds. If there is dirt or debris in a wound, it is much better to use ground ivy and plantain to draw out the debris and then use comfrey to seal the wound. She can also be used to reduce inflammation and to help heal sprains, bruises, and breaks. So as a fresh poultice. So yeah, if you got a deep, dirty wound, put on, put plantain on it, put ground ivy. Don't use comfrey until you're ready. It's just going to heal that. It, like it could actually grow the skin over a deep wound. You don't want to do that. So you have to wait till you want the skin to heal over it before you use it on a wound. That's good advice. So yeah, she's covering her ass and telling you just to use it externally. But Susan Weed drinks Comfrey. Um, I'll drink it on occasion and use it when I feel like it's necessary. Um, so it's really up to you. There's a lot of other stuff to drink. You don't have to drink Comfrey, you know. But if you feel called to it, there might be a reason you need it. Now you can make your own Comfrey wound oil. You make a simple wound oil from fresh or dried comfrey. If you are using fresh comfrey, lay the plant out on the counter for a few days until most of the water is gone. Because if not, you're just going to be asking for trouble putting fresh. It's sometimes it's hard to make oil with fresh plants because it's too much water and then it molds. So you can then create an infused oil. Um, she has directions for that in chapter five in her book, The Plant Spirit Oracle, Meanings, Recipes, and Journeys. This oil, use this oil anytime you want to seal up wounds. This preparation is also excellent for use with animals. So there you go. You can use comfrey on your animals, boo-boos, if they're, if they're ready to heal up and, you know. And look and looking good but yeah you don't want to use it before that because it, it works fast it really 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 does so her chapter five I just while we're here not moving very quickly I just want to see if she has any other advice for you to make your your plant medicine with the oil Oh, it's a long chapter. Okay, you guys are just going to have to buy the book. Really, it really is an incredible book and deck. I mean, the deck stands alone, but just get the book. So she uses her oils 
you know you dry you dry the plant matter chop it finely or I mean if you're in a hurry at least let it wilt for 12 or so hours she says she uses organic olive oil she also might use coconut oil um, you pour the oil over the plant matter making sure the plant matter is thoroughly saturated completely covered and she suggests leaving it in a sunny window or on the porch on warm days for about a week and that's all she does she strains it stores it in a cool dark place for you for use now alternatively you can use a double boiler on low setting and infuse the oil for 12 to 24 hours Ensure the oil doesn't get too hot. Yeah, I've made it in a crock pot, crock pot before. It got way too hot. Um, that was on the low setting, but like maybe just use it on a warm setting. Um, if your plant leaves turn brown and crispy, you've likely made it too warm and boiled away the medicine, and then it'll just smell like burnt popcorn. <laughs> Thoroughly strain your oil into in with a strainer or cheesecloth, and then you can do it that way. So yeah, I mean, whether you want to use the slow method and the sun and the heat or, you know, use a double boiler or a crock pot on low, it depends on what you want to do. But with either method, you make sure your oil is completely strained because if you leave any plant matter in it, it might spoil faster. It's hard to say because like I have, I have a rollerball perfume and it has like dried rose leaves in it you know it's like that's from Anne's backyard botan Anne's backyard botanical or medicine um herbal Anne's backyard herbal anyways I'm in love in love with the oil of hers so anyways that's it make sure there's no water bubbles um you can make the infused oil they, those can make it spoil much, much faster. So yeah, you wanna make sure there's nothing in it. So strain it real good. Heating it up is like one way to get the water out of it too, you know, cause it'll evaporate out. But yeah, you wanna do it gentle. And then you can use that oil on your skin or make a salve, whatever you wanna do, honey. All right, so it's a holiday. It's almost one in the afternoon. I'm taking all damn day to do the Comfrey podcast. <laughs> and there is kind of a little humor in that, you know, because it's like you don't repair and mend and break apart and dissolute and repair and rebuild and come back together real quick. Sometimes it takes time. Um... Yeah, sometimes it takes time. And Archangel Azrael told us that Sunday too. Like, take all the time you need to heal. Take all the time you need for your solitude and your healing. And, oh gosh. So we just can't even be in a hurry today. Which is good because I'm not. So, our last card is the world. Our last card is the world. Um... I think it's number 11, XX1, XX1, so that to me is 5 plus 5 plus 1 is 11. <laughs> I'm really trying so hard with the Roman numerals, good lord. All right, so let's see if I can find the world. Can I even find the world? Where the hell's the world? There it is. Oh, it's the last one before the minor arcana, so... At some point, we'll be coming up on that over at Herbal Marie. We just did the moon. And so now over there, we have the sun, judgment, and then the world. Oh my gosh, we're really cruising along. And I was sort of thinking, like entertaining the idea for Herbal Marie to really just pump out the, you know, like do a bunch of pentacles, do like the pentacles, boop, 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 boop. Like just really pump out the rest of this book. I don't know. I was thinking that the other day, but I was also, yeah, definitely thinking that I want to be done podcasting at the end of this year. I know it's so tough, or at least with this one, maybe I'll just start a new one somewhere. You actually make more money with Anchor if you keep on making new podcasts, I found out, because, you know, they'll give you ads. They'll like, they'll sponsor you for like, for 50 bucks and then they'll cut you off. 
like there's no ads on this podcast. I don't make a penny on this podcast unless you sign up as listener support. Um, yeah, like there, so anyways, like I was like, well, I could maybe hack the system and like just keep on creating new podcasts and get 50 bucks and, you know, keep on making new ones. So I was like scheming the other day, but I was like, ugh, this also seems like a lot of work. But then I was also thinking that I would like to, you know, maybe not drag on the herbal tarot forever, but we'll see. Sometimes I get a little wishy-washy. I go back and forth. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to quit. And I'm like, no, I'm going to do this forever. I'm going to quit. I'm going to do this forever. I'm going to quit. <laughs> so anyways, let's get to the world. That's the sun, Sadie. Let's go to the world. The world is comfrey in this deck, which is awesome. It's just a really simple picture, really, of comfrey. You can see the roots. It's by like mountains and a lake and there's some clouds with maybe some wind coming out of the clouds. Yeah, the clouds have a face and so then the sun has a face too. Um, the world ruled by Saturn. Symphaticum officinalis represents the unity of all the elements and their oneness with divine spirit. So the world card represents the unity of all the elements and their oneness with divine spirit. This card depicts our potential to manifest spirit on earth. Our potential to manifest spirit on earth. Saturn has been mistakenly, mistakenly regarded as the Maleficent planet a clearer understanding of the planet and its energies will bring greater clarity to the world card. So Saturn rules limitations, time, form, and responsibility. It crystallizes thoughts and ideas. It represents the earth plane and all of its wonders. So the four elements represented on the world card, on the world, are the different aspects of creation and the order of the universe. So we have water, which are the feelings, the inspirations, and balance. We have fire, which is the creative, expansive energy. We have air the element of wisdom and interconnection of ideas and earth, the contraction, cohesion, and results. So without this order, we as celestial beings would not have the place, the space, or time to manifest our visions. These are the tools and media with which we outwardly create the inner visions. The circle on the card represents the all-encompassing power and energy that was and or ever will be. It is the present moment of existence. And the circle looks like an oval, just so you know. It is the unindividualized life force that gains self-conscious awareness through the limitations of time and space and by combining all of the elements. So the elements are really important to connect with, to understand, to utilize, to access more, to honor more. When we have reached the consciousness of the world card, we are no longer identifying all that we create with the ego or subjective personality. We see our creations as a manifestation of the life force itself. This plane that we live on is magnificent as it is the place where we can see ourselves through our creations. This extends from the most temporal to the most exalted parts of our lives. If we can see ourselves and the things around us as the life force manifested, then there is nowhere else that we need to be except right here, right now dancing to the rhythm of life. So comfrey is the herb of unity. 
the herb of unity. Um, comfrey is the herb of seeing the segments and putting them together to create a whole. So the spiritual properties of comfrey is it helps us to knit our realities and our lives together. Meditations with the herb or the card will enable us to understand better how the world with all its segments is pulled together by the unity of the divine creative energy behind all manifestation. So comfrey is like a big herb this week, you guys, because we will see more clearly how to be focused and present so our visions can be joyfully manifested. So maybe it is high time that we are actually going to get our shit together with the help of comfrey. The medicinal property of comfrey's, um, just a little review here, it's, it does have a soothing effect upon every organ it contacts. So it's known as knit bone. It may be used internally and externally to heal wounds, fractures, sores, and ulcers. It is used for coughs. It is used for lung ailments. It helps secrete pepsin and is a general aid to digestion. So obviously, I want to drink some comfrey to see if it can heal my heart, heal, heal all parts of me. Like, like, I really almost need a comfrey week just to see like if I can feel better. If I can feel better. Like, I feel like my stomach and my gut too would appreciate a comfrey week. Um, yeah. Wearing the root or leaf of comfrey in a pouch or taking the herb as an herbal essence will help us to come to a better understanding of how the teaching of the world card can manifest in our lives. When doing meditations with the card, visualize the self joyfully dancing on the beach with the elements of creativity. So yeah, we need to, to see ourselves, you know, getting ourselves repaired. Yep, even if right now we're just in that cocoon, dissolving, breaking down, death to the old self, um, we can start to see ourselves coming together, getting our pieces put back together. Yeah, and on the What Needs Mending card, I can see how the pathway that the butterfly moth is looking towards is like a stone pathway. All these different shape pieces have been put together to match. And yeah, start to understand the elements, using our resources, adding to our personal power, letting our manifestations come in because that is just life itself manifesting. So medicinally, the entire comfrey plant can be used, but the leaf is strongest for tissue healing and the root is nourishing. For wounds, fractures, and ulcers, it is best to use the fresh plant macerated and placed directly on an afflicted area. So just FYI, you can freeze the fresh leaf run it through the food processor and freeze it for the winter use, okay? Um, place it directly on the afflicted area, make it into a warm compress or a poultice. For lung ailments, internal injuries and bleeding, a decoction is made from the root or an infusion from the leaves. Three cups or more may be taken per day depending on the extent of the illness or injury. Disclaim, disclaim, disclaim out the wazoo. Currently there is some question about the long-term safety of the use of comfrey. So comfrey should not be taken during pregnancy or by very young children or for more than two to three weeks at a time as it possibly has toxic effects on the liver. So don't drink it every fucking day. Like, just do a week of it like I'm going to. <laughs> if you want. If you don't, don't. So, all right, you guys. That's comfrey. That's our herb of the week. Not going to maybe be fun all the time, but definitely necessary. Um, this is just the point that we're at on our herbal journey together. Understanding. I really feel like the, the elements are like, hello. R figure out how to use us. The planet's are like, hello, figure out how to use the our astrological magic better. Hello, um, go ahead and break down. 
hello, figure out how to repair, hello, you know what I mean? Like Comfrey's like, okay, all right now. It's almost like midway through your year, um, ho, it's time to get this together. Cause we want the dryer to work all the time. <laughs> so this card from the Herbal Tarot, the keywords are seeing the whole picture, the need for healing, giving form to spirit, uniting the four elements and the four directions, trying to force a unity before conditions are appropriate. So maybe there's a message that you need to break through inertia and stagnation. If you're mentally stuck, you're in a rut, there's a need for joyful participation in the creation of life. Absolutely. And if you don't wanna use comfrey root, but you still like the idea of all this, the herbal allies are asparagus root and marshmallow root. So if you're like, uh, I don't know about mar I don't know about comfrey or comfrey root, just get yourself some marshmallow root, okay? <laughs> like you don't have to. You don't have to you don't have to bathe in comfrey if you want, but go get some marshmallow leaves, which I don't have any yet. It's a slow growing plant. But comfrey is here and available and ready for me to whack it down and use it. Just like I'm gonna whack myself down and say to myself out loud, I joyfully create my life and see spirit as the foundation of all. And that's our awesome herb of the week, comfrey learning how to use all these different parts, repair our lives, learn how to manifest better, get some wealth, use your resources, get some more resources, take some personal action, use your personal power, make some fucking salve. <laughs> know when to downsize, know when it's too much and whack down your life, whack it to the ground, know when to cut back, know when to go within, know, know when, when something needs mending and know how to do it, know how to call on comfrey, know how to be in unity, know how to bring all the parts together, know how to heal the world by healing ourselves. So that's comfrey. I'm going to sit here and figure out some affirmations and then, yeah, maybe actually get outside by 2 o'clock. It's 111. Good number. Tap, tap. Um, thanks for hanging out with me for another week of Ho. This is our 18th week together here in 2020, and I appreciate you doing your work with me and letting me talk out my work with you. We are learning lots. We are growing. We are mending. We are repairing. And motherfuckers, we are going to be manifesting. So don't let anything get you down. If the dryer doesn't work, just go back in 20 minutes and try again. Like sometimes that's all you need to do. Just give it a little rest. Give yourself a little rest and let the life force come in and create because that's what it does. All right, you guys, so much love to you. Here are your affirmations and many thanks to Comfrey for putting up and hanging out and inspiring us this week at Herb Oracle. Ho! <laughs>affirmation minute is brought to you by our glorious herb of the week come free and I dedicate them all to you thank you I know when to break down and dissolve the old I allow the elements to help heal me I repair my broken pieces by becoming whole again I manifest personal power I give back to the earth my health is my greatest wealth. I am joyfully creating my life by giving form to spirit. I know when to break down and dissolve the old. I allow the elements to help heal me. I repair my broken pieces by becoming whole again. I manifest personal power. I give back to the earth. My health is my greatest wealth. I am joyfully creating my life by giving form to spirit.
And so it is. Thank you.